Hello everyone, I'm Timo, and we're back on Counter-Strike Global Offensive for Volume 33 of the trade-up videos. We're going to be doing four trade-ups today, so let's get going. The first one up today is going to be a lower budget one, it's going to be a consumer to industrial grade, and it's going to be from the Gods and Monsters collection. Now this is a bit of a risky one, but there's one real payout here with the Orp Sun in Leo. So I'll get all these loaded in. We're using three skins here from the Gods and Monsters collection. So we've got those dual Berettas there and field tested. And then we've also got both of these here and field tested, the MP7 Asterians. And then we've got seven skins then from the 2018 Nuke collection. And these are all in factory new. So get all of those in there. There you go, I'll pop it on the screen for you guys so you can see the odds and everything here. Basically we've got a 30% chance at getting a Gods and Monsters skin. The Tech 9, the M249 and the P2000 are a little profit, but the real gem here is if you can hit the Orp Sun in Leo in factory new condition, is about triple your money, there or thereabouts. Um, but the odds are not in our favour here, so it is going to need a little bit of luck. I'd at least like to try and hit a Gods and Monsters skin, so hopefully the 30% can pull us through with the AWP. This one costs £1.69, so that's €1.86 or $2.05. So it's not too expensive, and if it works out, it can at least be a small return, but maybe quite a good one if you do manage to hit the AWP. So here we go, let's see what we get. Ah, uh, Tech 9 Hades, that's not too bad. It's, I think they're only coming out in minimal wear, the Tech 9 Hades, with what we had to work with. But it should still be a little profit. Yeah, there we go. So at least we did get a Gods and Monsters skin. That's not too bad. And that brings us out. It's a few pence profit. I think that's the worst thing we could have got for the Gods and Monsters skins because all the other stuff would have been in factory new. So that is a very tiny profit. But it is a little profit to start the video off nonetheless. So that's cool. I'll definitely take that for a start. So moving on to number two today. It's going to be an industrial to mill spec one. And this one is going to be from the Norse collection. I'm a really big fan of this trade up and for this one we're going to be using four Norse skins so then we've got three of them in minimal wear and one of them in field tested uh, let me just check minimal wear minimal wear minimal wear and a field tested yeah so three MWs and one FT and then for the other ones we've got six of these train skins here and these are all in factory new there we go, get all of those in. So I'll throw it on the screen for you guys so you can see what we're getting for this. Basically, all of our outcomes here are going to be in factory new, even the hard to get SCAR 20 brass. All of the Norse skins are going to be a profit and the train skins are going to be a loss, basically. This one costs £3.95, so that's €4.33 or $4.75. The Norse skins are not too far off from double your money, but the train skins will see you lose about the same amount the other way. So we're really hoping that because the odds are in our favour for this one, we can pull through and get a Norse skin. So let's see how it goes. Come on. Hey, cool. CZ75 Emerald Quartz. Nice. And that should be in factory new. Yeah. Sweet. And pretty decent float as well, 0 0.04. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Can't really see any marks on that at all, except for at the very back there. So I'm happy with that. That one worked out. So that's near enough W money, I think, for getting one of those. I think they're about £7-ish, so it's not too far away. So that's cool. Nice one for that. So we've made a tiny bit with the first one, a little bit more with the second one. So onwards to number three for today. So I just realised that everything was still in my storage unit, so I just <laughs> and nipped and got it all out. So for this third one, it's going to be an industrial to mill spec trader, but this time it's going to be from the Rising Sun collection. With this one, we're going to use three Rising Sun skins, which are going to be these P250 Crimson Kimonos here. Those are all in minimal wear, and then we've got the rest of the skins in factory new from the train collection. So let's load all those up. There we go. So I'll put it on the screen for you guys. You can see here that this gives us a 39% shot at a rising skin, rising sun factory new skin here. You could use one more if you wanted from the rising sun collection to do a 4-6 split, but it's just fairly minimal profit. And it'd also be harder to get the factory new float for the outcome. So it's just I felt it was better to just try with three. It gives a slightly better profit and it is easier to get the factory new outcomes for rising sun. So if we can can hit a rising sun skin here it is going to be a really nice profit but of course the train skin is going to be a loss or a fail this one costs six pounds so that's six euros 59 or seven dollars 23 the train skins are a rip of most of the money but we're hoping for a rising sun skin here and a little over double your money on what we put into the trade up so here we go come on 
Ah, oh, no. Sword off Amber Fade. Oh, that's disappointing. Never mind. So that's a bit of a rip there. And I think with that, that probably puts us about balanced even for the video, I guess. Maybe from the first two and then to that loss, we're probably about break even here on three trade ups. So leading into the final one, that's going to be the last one for this video and the fourth trade up. It might not be the greatest of profit one to do, but I do really like the collection skins. It's a mill spec to restricted one and it's from the canals collection. We're going to try 3-7 split for this one, so we're going to use three canal skins, which are going to be the Jewel Beretta's Emerald there in Factory New, and then we've got two in Field Tested, which are the Baroque Red and the Violet Murano. So that's those ones, and then we've got seven Italy skins. We've got four of them in Factory New, which are those MP7s, and then the other three are Field Tested for the Sword Off Full Stops. There you go, so I'll chuck it on the screen for you guys so you can see. Um, the odds are in our favour here to get a canal skin with a 3-7 split, and all of the outcomes are going to be Factory new for them. There's of course no factory new for a pit viper so that's just going to be minimal wear if that's what we get and of course that's going to be the big fail here. Um, this one costs £11.60 so that's €12.74 or $13.98. The canal skins are all a win and are all double your money but of course the pit viper is a loss of almost everything so we really don't want to see that. So we've got the odds in our favour for this and fingers crossed for the last one today and to pull out a profit for the video. Come on canals! Oh man, oh, I hate this gun, I really hate it, it's so bad, it's the ruiner of so many trade ups, it really is. Oh man, well that's the four for today guys and that's a loss for this video with the Pit Viper getting it with the small odds at the end there. But thank you so much for watching the video, please hit the thumbs up if you liked it, drop me a comment if you've tried any of these trade ups and let me know how you did and subscribe for more content. Our Discord link's in the description if you'd like to join that, and if you'd like to support the channel and keep the trade-ups coming, you can donate Steam items with the link in the description too. Thank you so much guys, and I'll see you on Sunday. Stay safe out there. Bye bye.